Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and in this tutorial, I will be going through how to create a month-over-month -month or rolling balance sheet within NetSuite. In NetSuite, the native balance sheet can only be run as of date, but we can customize the report to show a rolling month-over-month -month view. The first thing we're going to do is to navigate to the balance sheet that is standard within NetSuite underneath Reports, Financial, and Balance Sheet. This will take us into the CAN balance sheet. And as you can see, it says as of date down below here while this loads. Now, if I want to see a month over month balance sheet or a rolling 12 month trend, what I can do is simply click on the customize button down below in the left hand corner. We're then going to go and click on the edit columns tab at the top of the page. And once this loads, what you'll notice is this has already been selected with this first amount column. Now, this is important because we're going to add additional amount columns to make sure that this is the rolling trend. Now for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and put three months in this tutorial, but you can put as many months as you wish. Now I'm gonna start with December 2024 in this amount column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label this amount column to be December 2024. All right, once I label this as December 2024, the important pieces are gonna be down below to the right-hand corner where it says alternate period range type. I'm gonna simply use the drop down here and I'm gonna change this to be relative to today's date. Now, once that's selected, the next field is going to be the cumulative value. Now, if I want to see a rolling 12-month trend and I want the actual balance sheet as of that date with the cumulative value up to that date, I would simply just keep this box checked. If I want to just see the activity within this month, in this case, December 2024, you would just go ahead and uncheck this and this will show just the balance sheet number that made up that within that period. So I'm gonna keep this unchecked for my particular example here. But again, you could go ahead and check this if you do wanna see it month over month and it is the cumulative value. The next field is the alternate period range. Now this is important as we're gonna go ahead and select custom. So you'll select custom to make sure this is relative to today's date. So you can select custom and then you'll simply select the period that you want this to show when we actually run the report. So in this example, it's gonna be December, 2024. So I simply move down here and find December 2024 and simply select that. Now, if I were to preview this, this would just show me the non-cumulative amount for December 2024 in that column. All right, so you can see that here as showing in the custom balance sheet. I'm simply gonna go to return to customization and I'm gonna go to the left-hand side underneath the edit columns and, and add another amount field, right? So if I click on the amount, that will add this as an additional column here. So in this example, I'm gonna go put January 2025. I'm gonna add the grand total. The default one automatically adds it. So I'm gonna click add grand total. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for December 2024, but this in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put it for January 2025. All right, so now I have December and January 2025 here. And the last one I'm gonna do is gonna be due for February 2025. So I'm simply gonna click that same amount field underneath the financial table here, and it will add another column. And I'm gonna put this as February 2025. Add the grand total and simply change this alternate period range type to be relative to today's date. Uncheck the cumulative value and select this to be custom as the range and select February 2025. All right, so right now I have December, January, and February listed here. And if I go ahead and preview this, this will show me my rolling balance sheet, non-cumulative values, what makes up the activity within the particular period. And you can see that here, December, January, and February. Now, you might be asking yourself, you can see at the top here, it says December 2024, uh, basically twice, right? That the names are, are uh, listed twice. So a trick to, to get that just to be listed once is you can return to customization here. Once you're finished, um, I would recommend, and simply click on each of these headers and change the column label to be just a space. So you can clear that out and put, just put a space, tab over that and do that for each one of these. And then simply click on preview. And as you can see, once you preview this, it will just show the actual name of that particular period that you selected. So in my case, December, January, and February. I would recommend doing that after the fact, just to ensure that you have the correct periods showing here. 
Now, if you go to return to customization, like I mentioned, you can do the cumulative value if you want. So if you select the cumulative value, you don't need to select all these periods, by the way, you just need to select the actual period you're working with, and it will add the cumulative value up to that date. And you can see as of February 2025 now is listed. Once this looks good, you can simply just give this a name and save, and you will find your report underneath reports, saved reports, and all saved reports. So again, just give it a name, save it, and you will find it there. Otherwise, you can go and use the global search up top here and find the report later on. This concludes the tutorial on how to create a rolling balance sheet with a NetSuite. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any additional questions. Thank you.